It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Rossetti Wordsworth. Jenny and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. <laughs> story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Oh, look at the time. Time to go home. Are we all packed up. Yeah? Okay, come on, let's get home. Come on, Jade. Now you do that straight up. Story makers. <laughs> Midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Rosetti Wordsworth, magical story maker, here to make stories with you. Hello. Jackson, what are you doing? Oh, I'm uh, making a post box, Jelly. A post box? Oh, yes, I want to play at post offices like the children did today. Hmm. Hmm. This box should be the right size. Well, hmm. It doesn't look like a post box. <laughs> no, no, we've got to paint it red. Oh, well, can I help? Yes, can I, yes, can of I, course can you I? can, but mm. first of all I'm going to draw a letter hole. Uh, Here's my pencil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the letter hole is where the letters go. <laughs> yeah. I might need some help cutting it out. Oh, yeah. oh there you are. Oh, hello, hello spaghetti. <laughs> you look busy. Oh, yeah, we are actually. Mm. We're, we're making a post box. Post box, yes. Could mm. you help me cut out the letter hole, please? Oh, Rosette? yes, of course. Yes. I drawed it, but I can't cut it. Oh, mm. very good, very no, good. Oh, it's so exciting. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Isn't it time box? we made a story? Mm. Yes, please. Mm. Uh -huh. um. Mm. Um, yeah. Story makers, um, uh, um, um, uh, would anyone uh, like to make uh, a story? Oh, is it? Uh, in a minute, Rosetti. Jackson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry, did you say something, Rosetti? Yes, I said. What... Oh, never mind. I think I know how to get their attention. <laughs> I'm writing a letter to Jelly and Jackson. <laughs> Jelly and Jack. Oh, mmm, Jackson. There. <laughs> now I need to draw a stamp. Mm -hmm. oh. Post. <laughs> Post. <laughs> Ooh. Was that the post lady? Yes, and she's left a letter, look. <gasps> oh, what is it for? <laughs> to Julian Jackson. Oh, Jackson, that's us. Quick, yeah. read it. Uh, oh, mm. It's from Rosetta oh. City. Okay. <laughs> uh, mm. Dear Belly Jean and Frickson, oh, meet yeah. me by the story machine now. Love, Rosetta. Oh. Uh, oh, oh. P.S. Bring this letter. Oh, well, come on, Jackson. It's so exciting. I wonder what Rosetti wants. <laughs> it worked. We're here. We got your letter. Oh. Yes, we did. <laughs> well, what did you want us for, Rosetti? I need your help. Oh, oh. do you? Why? To make a story. Oh, uh, yeah. We could put your letter in the story machine. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Here it goes. <laughs> Can you help us? Do you know what to do? You've got to use your imagination to make the story machine work. <laughs> and we might get another letter in the story. That's right, Fraxon. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. So, Rosetti, how long does it take?
take for a letter to get there? Oh, about one or two days. Oh. Well, I hope we don't have to wait that long for a story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a playbook. Ah, and it's called Posting a Letter. My best friend Ellie has not been well. I'm writing her a letter. I think I'll draw a picture too. That might make her feel much better. This face I'm drawing is Ellie's face. I'm drawing lots of spots. Ellie hasn't been to playgroup. She's caught the chicken pox. Mum says I might just catch it too. I think she could be right. I'm missing Ellie at playgroup. That's why I'm going to write. This is great because Mum helps to write the sounds I need. Then we'll post it off to Ellie. Her dad will help her read. I'm getting good at writing words. Mum says I'm really clever. But my sister, who is eight, can join her words together. Dear Ellie, please come round and play as soon as you feel better. I write my name and draw a kiss to finish off my letter. Mum's found an envelope to write on Ellie's address. That's so the postman finds Ellie's house. He hasn't time to guess. Just one more thing. We need a stamp. I give it a good lick. Then put it in the corner. Just so. Making sure it sticks. We go to find our posting box. Next post at half past three. I try to post my letter, but hmm, it's much too high for me. The postman asks if he can help to take care of my letter. Yes, it's for Ellie. She's not been very well. I hope it makes her better. My letter's on a journey now. It's on its way to Ellie. I hope she likes my letter. She might write back again, instead of watching telly. Oh, oh my postbox is ready. Oh, good, because I want to post this letter to my friend. Oh, I want to deliver this parcel to Rossetti. No. Oh, I haven't got a stamp. Well, you could uh, draw one, Jelly. Uh, I don't want to draw one, Jackson. I'm waiting for the post office to open so I can buy one. Uh, hmm. We haven't got a post office, Jelly. <laughs> uh, yes, we have. There. See, the children oh. were playing with it earlier. Oh, right. hmm. well, what time does it open? Well, well I don't know. Uh, well, why don't you open it, Jelly? But I can't open it, Jackson, oh. because I want to buy the stamp. You'll have to open but, it. No, I can't open it because I've got to deliver this parcel. Well, I'll deliver the parcel. Will you? Yes. Oh. Hmm. Where does it have to go? Well, it's going to Rosetti Wordsworth, the story machine in the library. Hmm. <laughs> That's easy. I know oh. where that is. Okay. I'm the oh. postman. <laughs> dum -de -dum. Right. And dum. Uh, I'll open the post office. <laughs> hmm. No. Knock! Oh, oh dear, there's nobody here, and my parcel's so heavy. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh dear! I'm here! Oh, oh no! Um, hello, Rosetti! What's the matter? Oh, I'm being the postman and bringing you a parcel from Jackson. Oh, really? I love getting parcels. <laughs> yeah, um, but no, oh, I knocked it in the story machine by mistake. We can make a story out of it. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. A parsley story. Yeah. Mm. Are you ready? Yes. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Come on, story machine. It's a... Oh, it's a barnacle rock story. Oh, and it's called A Parcel for Gruff. Papa Clam and Ellie say hi hey. Little E and Harry say ho oh. hey. With Gruff and Electra they go on a search for treasure Down, Down amongst the, the barnacles of Barnacle Rock yeah. 
once upon a tide at Barnacle Rock, Littley couldn't get comfy in the pouch. So while Harry was snoring, she swam off to find her friends. All was still, all was hushed, even the sea seemed to whisper, shh. Where is everybody? She wondered. Still sleeping, I suppose. Suddenly, she saw something strange on the seabed. Oh, a brown crinkly stone. She swam a little closer. The brown crinkly stone had a little square of white on it, which was covered in squiggles. I'm going to show it to my friends. Wakey, wakey, everybody. Wakey, happy, why? Chimed the barnacles. I found a brown crinkly stone said Littley. All the creatures gathered round. Oh, I don't like the look of it. Harry frowned. I hope it's slimy, grumbled Gruff. Hmm, these squiggles look like letters. I wonder what they say. Oh, let's have a look. I'm quite good at reading me, sparked Electra. Oh, it says for Gruff to Puff. Hey, Gruff Love, it's for you. And it sounds like you're supposed to puff it, said Ellie. Gruff couldn't see how he was supposed to puff it. It's a parcel, Gruff mate, boomed Popper Clam. The people up top send each other parcels and it looks like someone sent one to you. Break open the crinkly paper and see what's inside. Gruff started to break open the paper with his nose, but it was a tricky job. Come on, you lot. Don't just stand there. Everyone helped to break the paper and hundreds of tiny sea snakes wriggled out. Oh, sea snakes! Oh. Popper Clam guffawed. <laughs> That's just stuffing. <laughs> it's to keep whatever's inside from getting broken. Well, what's this then? It's a trumpet. Chuckled Popper Clam. <laughs> if you blow through that spouty bit, it makes beautiful music. <laughs> Go on then. Gruff, give it a go. Gruff puffed through the spout and a very loud sound came out. That uh, no, wasn't loud, was it? Oh, oh, no, it yes. doesn't sound very beautiful to me. Hissed Electra as Gruff gave the trumpet another enormous puff. Oh, give it a puff. <laughs> oh, I like the stuffing bag. Giggled Littley. Oh. Here's some of your pouch, Dad. Oh. <laughs> Everyone chuckled. <laughs> That's the end of our wrinkly, crinkly, huffy, puffy adventure for today. Giggled Helly. <laughs> they thought the parcel was a stone, but but really it was a parcel with a trumpet inside. <laughs> the post office is open. Oh, oh good, I need some envelopes. Yes, and I need to buy my stamp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, yes, madam. I'd like to buy some envelopes, please. Some envelopes, yes. There we go. <laughs> oh, that'll be five pence, please. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and I'd like thank to you. buy a stamp, please. Uh, first class or second class? Uh, oh, I don't know. Now, um, don't worry, Jelly. Where's your letter going? Uh, well, it's going to a friend. <laughs> well, where does this friend live? Well, she lives in her field. I'm sending my letter to Blue Cow. Oh, <laughs> that'll be grass class, please. Yeah. Grass class, right, okay. There we are. Grass class stamp for you, madam. Thank you. <laughs> that'll be ten pence, please. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Rosetti, <laughs> yes. shall I put it in my post box? Well, Jelly, do you really want this letter to go to Blue Cow? Yes, yes, I do. Then mm. I think the best place to post it is in the story machine. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, then yeah. maybe we'll get a blue cow story too. Oh, yes. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Catch your number four, please. Can you help us? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. Oh, I hope blue cow gets my letter. <laughs> It is a blue cow story. <laughs> and it's called Blue Cow Gets a Letter. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. 
Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was watching the postman deliver the letters at the farm. I wonder what it would be like to get a letter. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to somewhere I can get a letter, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for the post office. Then they arrived. Blue Cow was outside a big red building which said Post Office. She went inside, but she didn't get very far because there was a very long queue of people. Blue Cow stood in line and waited and waited. Moo! I'm never going to get my letter. But soon she was at the front of the line, and a funny voice over a loudspeaker called, "Cashier number four, please." Blue Cow rushed over to cashier number four. Hello, I'd like to buy a letter, please. Oh, I'm very sorry," said the cashier lady. "You can't buy a letter. Someone has to send you a letter." "Moo,、oh, dear," said Blue Cow, feeling a bit upset. "Next, please," said the lady. But things in the queue seemed to be getting a little out of hand. The loudspeaker had broken down and stopped calling people to the front. "Oh, what shall we do now?" said the lady. I could be the loudspeaker for you," suggested Blue Cow.、Oh, "That way, everyone would know when it was their turn." "Oh, brilliant idea," said the lady. "Cashier number two, please. Cashier number one, please. Cashier number seven, please." "Oh, marvelous!" Soon it was time for the post office to close. But just as Blue Cow was about to leave, "Oh, Blue Cow, I say, I've got a letter for you," said the lady. "A letter for me." But who could it be from? Inside it said, "Dear Blue Cow, thank you for all your help at the post office today. You did a brilliant job. Love from Nora at cashier number four." Oh, thank you," said Blue Cow. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to the post office and I got my own letter. Everyone knows cows can't get letters, but we know they can, don't we? Oh, so Blue Cow got her letter. Yes, but it wasn't mine. Oh, don't worry, Jelly. I'm sure Blue Cow will get your letter. Oh, it's getting late. Oh yes, the sun is on, sleeping its beams. All story makers must be hidden away before it wakes. The children will be coming to the library soon. <laughs> yeah. Yes, my sweeties, dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories, so we bid you goodbye. 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 Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers. Thanks for helping. Bye. Bye bye, story makers. Come and make some more stories soon. <laughs> <laughs>